Good evening, I'm Natalie Morrison. Welcome to KTRM Studios on Wednesday, March 29th, 2023. Tonight, we will cover the forensic team's recent tournament, information about summer classes, and room lotteries for the fall 23 semester. These stories and more brought to you by KTRM Studios. You don't want to miss this. The Truman State Forensics team recently competed in the Pi Kappa Delta National Tournament hosted by Westchester University in Pennsylvania over spring break. The team won fourth place overall in individual events Tier 1 and fourth place in Tier 2 debate sweepstakes. Many individual students also won high honors based on their performances, including junior Alicia Stout, who placed second in the nation and earned sixth place speaker, senior Maya Crump, who finished as a quarterfinalist in after dinner speaking, persuasion, and editorial impromptu, and Anna Hans, who was the national champion in public narrative and earned excellence in interviewing. The team's performance at the tournament marked the most success Truman has had in a national tournament in recent years. Great job, Bulldogs. Registration for summer classes has opened on March 22nd. Interim classes run from May 13th to the 27th. The first round of five-week classes, as well as 10-week classes, will start on May 30th, while the second round of five-week classes will begin July 3rd. Eight-week classes begin June 5th, and August interim classes run from July 29th to August 12th. For more information, please go to summer.truman.edu. Beta 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 will hold Science on Saturday on April 29th. Science on Saturday is designed for elementary and middle school students to get them excited about math and science. Some of the activities offered during this event are strawberry DNA extraction, acids and bases volcano, and reptiles and amphibians. Registration will begin on March 31st at sos.truman.edu. The Truman Food Pantry, in conjunction with the Adair County Food Pantry, is hosting a pop-up pantry on March 30th from 1 to 4 p.m. in the sub-alumni room. They will be handing out food and sample bags, and all students are invited to come. Food packs are also available Monday, Wednesday, and Friday in the subroom 1106 in the Serve Center. Students can pick up a standard pack free with their Truman ID or complete a pre-select food form at tinyurl.com slash Truman Food Pantry for pickup. Room lottery requests for the fall semester will open at 8.30 a.m. on April 3rd and will close at 5 p.m. on April 12th. Any requests made after this date will be processed on a first-come, first-served basis after the lottery requests have been processed. In order to participate in the room lottery, you must be a recognized student organization in good standing. For more information, please contact the Union and Involvement Services. Up Chuckles is hosting the April Fools for Food charity stand-up comedy show on April 1st at 7 p.m. in the Baldwin Auditorium. The show will feature six Truman professors, including Brian Lamp, Jamie D'Agostino, Joey Hubbard, Doug Ball, Paul Yoder, and Rusty Nelson. Tickets are $7 at the door, and all proceeds go towards the Food Bank of Central and Northeast Missouri. The Center for Diversity and Inclusion is sponsoring a trivia table for Trans Day of Visibility. The table will be in the Student Union Building from 10 to 2 p.m. on March 31st. A group photo will be taken at 2 p.m. for anyone who would like to show their support. Up next, we'll hear from reporter Amelia Pelez about her review of Heroes and Villains by Metro Boomin. Hey besties, welcome to or welcome back to Listening Party. I'm Mel and today we're going to be discussing Metro Boomin's new album, Heroes and Villains. Metro Boomin is a 29-year-old producer from St. Louis. Heroes and Villains is his second studio album. This album is themed and incorporates a bunch of different hero and villain themes uh, throughout the lyrics, throughout the instrumentals, and even throughout different excerpts in the songs from superhero movies. The album begins with On Time with John Legend and features a bunch of different artists. It has a theme that goes in directly into the first full song, which is Superhero. Future and Metro go together so well. They have a history of making like masterpieces together. I want to keep seeing Future and Metro making music together because they can make some bangers. 
Superhero also features samples of Jay-Z, which adds a great touch. Moving on to one of my favorite songs. If you like Too Many Nights, you'll most likely like Around Me, which is also featuring Don Tolliver. Too Many Nights is very catchy, almost pop in a way. This one's really catchy. This one was my immediate favorite when I first heard the album and I've had it on repeat. It's definitely interesting to see Travis get back into music, especially after his Astroworld tragedy. Probably my favorite line from Raindrops is, I mix up the jazz, I rhythm and blues it. Umbrella has a grand orchestral feeling to it. It is, of course, cool to hear The Weeknd and 21 Savage work on a song together. It's no surprise that Creepin' is the most popular, most streamed song from this album. The Weeknd song kind of stands out just because it's a softer, slower tempo. I personally believe that this is 21's best work on the album. She put syrup in her margaritas. Niagara Falls has a sick, trippy, echoey beat. Some honorable mentions would have to include Feel the Fire, Metro Spider, and I Can't Save You. The movie quotes definitely add for a more dramatic theme, which Metro does really well, like dramatic piano chord struck, especially at the intros of songs, including Umbrella and Feel the Fire. However, I think for next time, it would be cool to see more artists featured on Metro's albums, especially like, what if we threw in a, what if we threw in a female artist, just saying. All right, that is all that I have for you guys. I hope you like this video. Watch out for episode five as I'll be reviewing SZA's new album, SOS. Bye. After a quick break, we'll take a look at the weather and sports with Sammy and Blake. If you're buzzed and doing this, to make yourself feel okay to drive, ZWX. You're not okay to drive. Y G K L V W. Uh, regular you. For the weather this week, today has been a fairly nice day with a high of 49 and a low of 32. It'll continue to be sunny the rest of the day with a few clouds in the sky. For tomorrow on Thursday, it'll be a really nice day with a high of 66 and a low of only 56 degrees. It'll be sunny out during the day, and then overnight it'll become more overcast and windy. On Friday, it'll be a little bit of an ugly day with thunderstorms, hail, and strong winds, and possible tornadoes, so be prepared for that. Yet, it'll still be nice out as the weather will be warm, having a high of 73 degrees that day. This weekend on Saturday, it'll be an overcast day with a high of 52 and a low of 34, and there will be some strong winds that day. That's all I have for the weather. Worried your friend struggling but don't know how to reach out? You could say how are you or get a fake tattoo. You could ask with an app if it works for you. You could write him a text or knit him a sweater. If you can't be together, you could write him a letter. Whatever, whatever, whatever gets you talking. Chat on the game, kick off your flip flops. You can ask on your couch while you binge watch. However, you do it, you gotta ask a friend. And if they don't share, you can ask again. Whatever, whatever, whatever gets you talking. There are a lot of ways to reach out to a friend about their mental health. Learn how you can help at SeizeTheAwkward.org. This past week, Chumin Bulldogs baseball fought a series of three games against the Quincy Hawks, also referred to as number eight Quincy. The Quincy Hawks won the first game of this bout, scoring an impressive 14 against the Bulldogs four. 
Such a crushing victory did not bode well for the future of the Bulldogs against the Hawks. And sure enough, in the next two games, the Truman Bulldogs lost in the 6-2 game and a 4-1 game. In other sports news, Truman State track and field opened up their outdoor season in Rolla this Saturday. They comp competed in the Minor Invitational at Missouri S&T. Truman contestant uh, Ellie Weltha won both shot putt and discus. And men's national qualifier Jacob Morris broke the Truman shot putt record, his own record, in a win there as well. Great job, Bulldogs. There's, of course, some upcoming sporting events this weekend. We have track and field and baseball on this Saturday, along with golf and baseball on Sunday. For more information on upcoming sporting events, check out Truman State Athletics' Facebook page. Now, we go to our PSA. If I could be you, and you could be me for just one hour. If we could find a way to get inside each other's minds. Walk a mile in my shoes. Walk, Walk a, a mile in my, in my shoes. Well, before you abuse, criticize, and accuse. Walk, Walk a mile in my shoes. Next, we'll go to reporter Yutaro Hara, where he will be interviewing Kishin about life in America as an international student. Hello, I'm Yutaro Hara. I'm Kishin. Uh, today, uh, more and more, pe more international people uh, are curious to come to America in these days. So today, I'm going to ask him about uh, American life uh, as an international student. OK, first question, why did you choose to come to America? Uh, you know, my original plan is go to Japan, but Japan is still an Asian country. So my doctor advised me, you are going to study abroad. Why don't you go to another country, America? It's bigger and stronger. That's true. Yeah. Uh, what is a good point uh, that you study in U.S.? I feel like it is a sort of um, intercultural communication, the totally different acting, food, and living style. So I'm glad you're getting something that I didn't know before. Mm, yeah, you know, I'm an international student, so I can feel that a lot of the same thing as you. So anyway, uh, what are your struggles that you feel in US? Medical fee, medical fee, and medical fee. Yeah, expensive, well, yeah. Well, yeah, uh, yeah. OK, so next question. Have you ever regretted that you come to US? Yes. Since the pandem pandemic began, I have, long, I have a long while not being home with my parents and friends so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. It's sad. Yeah. Okay, how much do you like American life? So I think the degree to a person, how he likes his life, is up to who he gets in touch with. I, I'm, I love my friends, so I love my life. Yeah. I mean, after coming to U.S., I can make a lot of friends, so, which is a good point for us. So we, the last question, will you recommend to your children to come to America in the future? Probably, I think a person cannot have like young age and young feeling, like, feeling at the same time. So if I have a kid when he is young, I would strongly recommend go study abroad, see big world, and get more experience. Mm -hmm. But first thing first, I should have a girlfriend first. <laughs> All right, that's true, yeah. Uh, thank you for coming. Anticipate potential delays for the morning commute. In other news, a recent government report on prescription drug pricing points to corporate mouth. Freedom of the press is about your right to know. What are you talking about, man? Look at his stats. It's about your right to be informed. Your right to access all types of information keeps us free as a nation. No, 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 no. no. Today, there are real threats to press freedom. Residential areas by and your right to know about the world around us. Look. Some threats are obvious, some are easy to miss, but they all put our way of life at risk. We must defend against okay. all of these threats, no matter what kind of news is important to you. Justified putting American troops in harm's way. That's a great question. We must protect our right to know before it's too late. Understand the threats. Protectpressfreedom.org. Thanks for tuning in with us tonight. For complete news coverage, be sure to stay tuned to KTRM and pick up a copy of the index. Don't forget to also check out our digital content on tmn.truman.edu. 
You can also follow KTRM Studios on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe to KTRM Studios on YouTube for full broadcast news coverage. If you've ever thought about being on TV, head over to tmn.truman.edu slash apply to fill out an application today. From all of us here at KTRM Studios, thanks for tuning in and have a great rest of the week.